Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, I'll put the deck links in the description below. And if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, definitely leave a like and leave a comment. Thanks guys. What's going on guys? Alex here. So in today's video, we're going to be playing the five best princess decks in Clash Royale. First off, we'll be playing this Balloon Cycle deck. We're in Ultimate Champion right now at 4837 in the entire world, but we are pretty underleveled. So I'll be playing these Princess decks at 9,000 trophies, the highest trophy count. Let's hop into the first game for you guys. We're in the first game against Royale W slash Cheese. Um, we can put our Miner in the safe spot first play. I really do like this deck. I don't like that we're underleveled, but our opponent will be a little bit underleveled too. So... I'll put my knight like this, and then I'll put my princess like this. I think it would be a good idea to tornado here. But we are doing fine right now. We might have to tornado. I think we'll tornado. And we can take out that entire little prince. I think we might have to go in with our balloon soon. I'll put my skeletons and ice spear down to try to defend this. And now I'll go with my knight and my balloon at the bridge. That way we're back to our snowball. And I'll pop it. So we do get two great balloon hits, and I think we're back in the game now. Also guys, thank you so much for all the support, I really appreciate all the love I've been getting from you guys, and we're coming up on 100 subscribers, so that's really exciting. I think I can probably knight in the back. I don't know how we're going to defend this. I'm pretty scared, so we're going to have to have like some kind of crazy defense. I'll put my tornado like this. I'll put my e-spirit down. And I'll put my skeletons down too. I'll put my giant snowball down. And maybe somehow we can defend here. We actually did somehow to find I'll put my balloon down and I'll put my miner like this maybe we can put the tornado like this and pull the little prince to the other side and I will put my e-spirit down like this and I'll put my skeletons down like this and somehow we are defending right now guys um can we take out that last skeleton Okay, let's put our tornado down and our princess too. No way we defended that, guys. Come on. Oh, that was an insane defense. I don't know how we defended that. GG there, though. So, that was the first deck there for you guys. We won under level, but I don't know what level that guy had for his cards he had a he only had a level 13 little prince and uh level 14 arrows for his lowest cards so now for the second deck guys we have a really cool fun deck here we have the hog rider deck with uh evo bats and the princess so all of these decks have princess let's hop into the second game at 9k and see what we can do here it would be really cool if we could get five wins but we won't worry about it if we get a loss we don't have anything on the line anyway at 9k you can't lose anything so we'll put a hog rider at the bridge first play hog rider a very good card right now some would even say it's op some people are really annoyed by the card i am too i'm happy when i have a tornado to counter it and pull it to my king tower but when i don't it can be pretty annoying so this deck is, is pretty high skill, I would say. I'm going to go opposite lane because he did Archer Queen. And I mean, you can kind of spam hogs with this deck. I think he'll be playing possibly Royal Hogs, which will be 
a little tough. I'm not gonna lie. Now we can put our mini P.E.K.K.A down and I'll log here too. And then I'll use my Ice Golem to try to defend a little more. We have a pretty good defense here. I'm hoping that we can do more damage on offense than him. Our right tower, although taking a little bit of damage, is still pretty healthy. So I'll cycle my bats in the back like this. And I think we can go Hog Rider on the left. I'll do that. I'll put the Hog Rider on the left to maybe, I guess, take out the Bomb Tower. I thought maybe we could outcycle it, but he does have a very fast cycle deck, so if he is a good player, he'll be getting that Bomb Tower back very fast. But in double and triple, we might have a faster cycle than him. He will use the log like that, so... I think we might be able to put a rocket on the tower. I think I will do that. And I'll put an Ice Spirit down for support. Great Ice Spirit there, and we actually do get a hit on the tower. Very well played by us. He will put down the, the angry... Uh, Emoticon, the angry emote. And then I'll put the Hog Rider down too. And I'll put my Electric Spirit down also. Let's see if we can outcycle him. We might get one or two hits on the tower, that would be really cool. I'll use my Ice Golem and get ready for his next Hog Push. I'll put my Princess like this, and then we'll E Spirit to try to help clean everything up like that. And then I'll put another Ice Golem down actually. And we can put a Hog Rider in the corner like that, and put our second pair of bats down too. We are in the damage advantage, but we have to be careful here. He will put down the EQ too. And then I'll put down my Hog Rider like this. We do have some more bats, so I think we should use those soon. I'll put my ice going down, and I'll put down another hog rider too. And I'll put my princess down also. We can use our E spirit to pressure a little bit, and the bats will get a little bit of damage on the tower. Now we'll put down my mini P.E.K.K.A to try to predict his push here. I'll use my bats and another hog rider. And I think we can try to outcycle our opponent here. We might get another hog rider hit too. We do actually get two, and I think soon we will be in rocket range. Very well played by us. We do have to be careful here. We do have the Evo bats. I will put down another E Spirit too, and we can put down another hog rider. I think at this point we could maybe rocket cycle him. We'll spam some more bats too and put E Spirit at the bridge. He will log, so we have to be careful here. He will put down the hogs. So cycle another princess here. We'll use our ice going. I'll put down bats again and my E Spirit here. I'm going to put down my first rocket like this, and I think Rocket Log will do it. Good game there, very close game against King Wolverine, but we did make a little bit of a comeback. We did outplay him a little bit, and that was the second deck for you guys. A very good and fun fast cycle deck with the Hog Rider. I would say it's very high skill, but if you are a good cycle player, you can really find a lot of success with it. So now we'll be moving on to the third deck with the Royal Recruits Evolution. This deck looks like a lot of bait, and it really is. We have the Goblin Barrel. I think this might be one of the better decks out of the five, but we'll see. Let's hop into our third game. Hopefully we can go 5-0 and today, but if not, no worries. We'll try to make it a little challenge here. We are a little bit underleveled. I'll start out with the Goblin Barrel. I'll put it here to try to put it in the anti-NATO spot. I'm pretty comfortable going Royal Recruits. The reasoning behind that is 
we want to get to our Evo Recruit Evolution because it's honestly pretty OP, so I know they did nerf it, but it can be very annoying, especially if they don't have the right counters. If they have a bowler, I mean, they'll probably be fine, but we can pressure a little bit here with the wall breakers, and I'll put my goblin gang on the little prince. We might be able to get a wall breaker connection here. I'll put my rascals at the bridge like this to try to bait something out. We do have the dark goblin, so we are kind of chilling here. I think he will have the log barrel. So we do have to be a bit careful. I'm not sure what other card he has, but I'll put my Dark Goblin down. And then I'll put, I think I might put my Barrel down on the Elixir Bomb, because he did use the Barbarian Barrel just now. So we have an opening to use the Goblin Barrel on that pump. I think that he might be running Golem. Um, <laughs> bro, he literally put Golem down right when I said that. That's pretty wild. I guess I'll put the Royal Recruits at the bridge and try to pressure him a little bit. And then we can put our Rascals down like this. Well played so far by us and him. He will get a bit of damage here, but I think we're fine. I'll use my Goblin Barrel here. We'll get two connections, which I'm happy about. And then I'll put my go Goblin uh, game like this, at the bridge. I'll put my row recruits like this, because I want most of it on the, uh, the Golem side to try to defend. And I think I'll use my Princess in the back like this. I think we do have to try to pressure him here. I think I'll actually use my wall breakers too. And we want to try to get to our Evo. That way we can find. And now I'll put my Dark Goblin down too. Now we can put our Princess like this on the right side. And I think I'll try to maybe pressure him at the bridge. My goblin getting down. And my dark goblin. We might be dead here. We're gonna have to put our rascals at the bridge. And put the goblin barrel right here. Oh! 79 HP. We needed one more hit. GG there against Lewis. Well played. Good game there. That was the third deck for you guys. Moving on to the fourth deck for you guys. We have this log bait deck with the Leap Barbarians. This deck is very fun and I like how it has a lot of bait cards. We will be going up against Ferris for our fourth game. We can start out with the Barbarian split in the back, or we can just uh, do Wall Breakers. I'm glad we saved the Barbarians because now we can counter his Hog Rider. And I think we can put our Goblin Bro down too. He might be playing a uh, 2.6 Hog Cycle actually. And he'll put down the hammer emote too. We can put our princess down like this. I think it will be 2.6 hog cycle. He's my main horde. And I'll mine in the back like this. Now we can put our wall break this down. Great job out cycling the opponent. We do want to be careful here though. Um, I think I'll put my log down. He will get a hit. We do have the Leap Barbarians, but his Fireball might actually take them out. 
which is another bad thing about being under leveled, but what can you do, you know? When you're under leveled, you're just, uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it, right? Do your best to out outplay the opponent. We put the barbarians down early, and since they're level 14, they, they don't take all of it out. I feel your pain, guys. I don't know what we took out there. He put something down. <laughs> They are kind of going ham though, look at our level 14 barbs, they did kind of go wild there, not gonna lie. I'll put my liner down like this, and I'll mini hold too. Throw wall breakers down, might force out a fireball. Now I'll put the goblin barrel down, and the log. Wallbreakers again. This is my goblin gang too. We haven't really used our goblin gang for, for a lot of the game, so that's pretty funny. Now we can put our barbarian barrel down. I'll go miner again and wall breakers. can put down our princess like this. I'll goblin gang and have the evo ready for him. And then we'll goblin barrel again. I actually don't know how he's gonna stop that. I'll put the barbarians down here. And that will mostly take him out. Now we're kind of messing with him a little bit. Because we have so much health on our tower. We can princess in the back. And the goblin gang like this. Put my miner like this. Good game there against players. So with this deck, you really want to bait out your opponent. You have fireball bait, and really any kind of spell bait. You can call it arrow bait or log bait, but you're really baiting out your opponent's spells. So great game there against fairs. And now we have the classic classical log bait deck with the goblin barrel and princess. So those are only two level 14 cards. So it should be pretty easy to get a win here. We'll hop into the fifth game now. Like I said, guys, if you're enjoying the content, definitely leave a like if you like the video so far. And if you made it this far, definitely subscribe if you're enjoying the content and commentary. I will put my cannon down to kind of set up for a defense. We have the guards in this deck, so the guards are very good. I'll use my guards like this. And I'm hoping that that'll get the King Tower activation. I'm not completely sure, but we'll see. We can log that too. I don't know if we need it, but... Yeah, so this is that uh, that classic log bait, I think. We don't have the Inferno Tower in there. We have the Cannon, so the cycle will be a little bit faster. I'll put the Knight down too. We'll use our Princess also. I'm glad the, the Dark Knight didn't connect onto our tower. Now we can put our guards down and we'll Goblin Barrel in the other lane because I think we'll force out a log. I'm not too sure. Maybe we'll get a little bit of tower damage. Unfortunately we don't. As long as we play good defense and turn it into an offense, we'll be perfect. We do have the rocket in there too. So we'll use my princess and my guards at the bridge to try to pressure him a little bit. And we'll see what we can do here. A great connection there against this guy. And I'll put my cannon down like this. And I'll put my ice spirit high to kite. And then I think we can actually put our princess like this. 
I think he might go uh, Evo Royal Recruits. He will, but we're still fine so far. I'll use my guards like this to get a good defense going. And then I think we can log too. I'll put my cannon down also and use my high ice spirit. We could probably put our knight down too, but I don't think we need it. I'll put it down now. So yeah guys, I mean, what can I say? Log bait is still very good, especially if you're a good cycle player. We do want to get back to our knight now. I didn't know that he would have the Mega Knight, so I'll put my knight down like this, and I'll put my princess down too, and then we'll use our guards here. And we'll be able to finish up the game with a rocket, but we can put our Goblin Girl down, and our Evo Knight too. That'll be GG there against Mongol. So, good game there. I hope that you guys enjoyed the best five princess decks in Clash Royale. It was really fun playing these decks for you guys. Definitely give them a try. If I had to pick a favorite, I'm really not too sure which one it would be. I really enjoy that Hog Rider Cycle deck. But that balloon one is also very fun because you have the tornado, so you can pull things together for your princess and your e-spirit. Yeah, all of these decks have very good cards in them. The Royal Recruits deck was also very fun. But yeah guys, that was the best five princess decks in Clash Royale. If you enjoy the content and you enjoy the commentary, definitely leave a like. Please subscribe guys, I really appreciate it. We're coming up on 100 subs, so I'm really excited about that. Thank you guys so much, and have a good rest of your day or night. See you guys. Peace.